All right, welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Gut Mondays. I am Joe. I'm still Dan. Man, it's never going to change, hopefully. So today we're going to try a new beer called Ricardo's Red Rocket Ale. Nice little picture of a red rocket on there shooting off. Uh, it's from Bear Republic and brewed and bottled in Cloverdale, California. I like that. Let's see, it says, Red Rocket Ale is a bastardized Scottish-style red ale packed with distinctive flavors and an aggressive hop character rivaled by none. This unfiltered, bottle-conditioned, amber-colored ale breaks all style modes. And Brewmaster notes, keep refrigerated, well, no, just normal stuff. So, apparently it's going to be a red ale, but... It's going to blow our mind away because we've never had anything, but anything even close like it, according to them at least. So. Certainly a very good amber color. As always, we'd like to give our shout out to Sam Adams, the person and the beer. <laughs> Drinking out of our, uh, our prank glasses. Mm, so. Oh man. It smells a lot better than that Irish red mm -hmm. ale. It smells like really hoppy. I like it. I'm already getting a sense of what it's going to taste like just from the smell. Mm. Whoa. How many of these did you have? All right. Uh, it does not say the alcohol content in it, but you're a liar. Really? It's six point eight. Where do you see this? On the front. Oh, six point eight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you're pretty normal amber color. Yes. There. There's a lot in there though. A lot of what? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell if that's just bubbles. It's bubbles. Like, do you see what I'm seeing though? There's like a bajillion million tiny things in there. I've never seen that in a beer before. Yeah, I'll take a picture of glass. Oh my god, yours has so many more bubbles than mine. Yeah. But no, I can still see what I'm talking about in there. It does say unfiltered, I think, and that's why. Yeah, unfiltered. You can definitely tell that there's stuff flowing around in there. In any case, let's go on to the taste. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Why, why are you wowing? Because it's like a punch in the face of flavor. Yes, it is. I agree. Extremely distinct. And it wants you to know about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. It's a little on the bear side. Yeah. But. Nothing bad. Yeah, for once, I don't say bitter in a bad <laughs> way. It's definitely a bitter beer, but I don't know. It's different from most. It's actually enjoyable. Bitter and enjoyable coming out of your mouth. I know. I'm dying. I'm dying. We're, we're hitting a new era here since we're getting all these beers in there. I know. Hmm. I don't know what flavor character to give it, though. It's like... Somebody stretched out your tongue, punched it, and on top of their knuckles was delicious. Nice. Exactly. That's going to help them out. Nice. All of our viewers. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm just trying to just drink it. It's good. Know, there's a lot of flavors in there, but like the bitter kick at the beginning is making it hard for me to be able to distinguish them. Just There's a lot of hops in there. I, I will say that. A lot. Mm. And it's good. It's really good. Mm. 
<laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> We're not really good at this. <sighs> it's getting harder. It's getting harder. Um. So what kind of foods would you drink, would you eat with this? Oh, would you drink it alone? This for me, I would drink this alone, cause it's a good wind down beer. Um, it's a good maybe after dinner beer, even though it's kind of bitter. It's not as sweet as a dessert beer. It's still just a lounge on the couch kind of beer and just sip on it. So, for me, I wouldn't really no. mix flavors with it. It has a strong flavor already, so I wouldn't mix any any other flavors with it. I was thinking a steak, like either a ribeye or a sirloin, maybe even a filet, something that has a lot of juices, mm -hmm. and something that's, you take a bite into it, I feel like it would mix really well with that. Right. Mm. It's good. Definitely highly mm -hmm. recommend people trying this. Mm -hmm. Not as your first beer. <laughs> right. Probably not the best beer in the world if you've never had a beer before. But. It is a Scottish, Scottish style too, so maybe that's something, maybe that one has something to do with what we like. Mm -hmm. Last time was the Irish beer, this mm -hmm. one's the Scottish beer. Sorry, ancestors. Unless I'm yeah, I was thinking them. about that. I was like, huh. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I know I should like these Irish beers, but apparently beer does not flow in veins. It's not how it works. No. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the scoring and the rating. I'm feeling pretty high about this one. Um I'm gonna go with eight and a half. I don't think it's quite a nine, but definitely deserves to be up there in sure. recognition. Um, definitely a beer I think anybody should try. Might be a little hard to get a hold of, but Correct. doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Well, this brewery is from Cloverdale, California, so people in California, try to find this. I'll put a little picture right here. <laughs> so you guys can look you guys can look at it and try to find that label and like we like we said, we recommend it. I rate it a I'm gonna rate it a nine. Oh. Yeah, I know it's it's one of the good beers. So I rate it a nine, it's definitely a good beer. It's like Joe said, it's bitter, but it's kind of a good bitter. People who say oh beer is kinda of bitter, beer is very bitter. Yes, this beer is bitter, but to a beer connoisseur like you and I, it's a good bitter. It's it adds character to the beer. So, with that being said, this is one of our top three right now. Definitely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to see things that will unthrown it, though. Like what? I don't know. We're talking about the future. Oh, oh, oh! I think in the label. Oh no! What? Like negativities. Oh. Label. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right? You drink it all. Yeah. I wasn't giving you an option. Nice. But yes. Uh, we're going to finish these beers. Uh, maybe go out and buy another six pack or another mm. one of these. <laughs> mm. And, but yeah. We will see you next week here at Beer Gut Mondays. Mm -hmm. so, cheers. Cheers. Drink responsibly. <laughs> or don't drink it all. Or drink in moderation. <laughs>